working as a gameplay programmer is kind of this perfect hub between design, art, and programming. It's a kind of a physical art. It's about trying to manipulate that interface between the player and the, the game. Your job is to ease the player's interaction with the world and uh, transform the player's input into gameplay mechanics. There's so much in the way that humans move and, and behave and think tactically and coordinate with each other that you take for granted as a human. And every single one of these we have to meticulously put in and create. So before even getting down to working on something, say in the engine, we do so much research. If we were working on the climbing system, we would actually go to say like climbing gyms to try and come up with a design that makes sense and really understanding uh, what the characters on screen should be doing. Our relationship with game designers is, you know, it's really symbiotic. We're gonna, you know, have plenty of back and forth discussions with them. And so you can have a, a great exchange of ideas. The designer is there, he gives the ideas, we, we use the technology to convert the design into reality, into an actual physical game which player can play. The thing that the, the gameplay programmer does is they have a far greater grasp on what's technically possible. And designers inspire programmers to push those limits further than they would have expected as well. It is my responsibility to start learning about all the different areas of game development and working with those experts to seeing how can AI and gameplay support that. If you're at the beginning of a new project, you're going to be doing just basically only prototyping all the time. You know, there's going to be lots of ideas going around and you have to just make a quick and dirty version that basically works. It's always an iterative process to get to the, the most fun, the most engaging experience. Mobile game is actually very iterative in nature. My role is to actually build the basic foundation of it so that designers can build components in the meta system. A gameplay programmer's work is basically connecting systems together to make up the entire world, the interactions with the player, with the events, with the everything. You have to put a lot more attention to how the world works and how believable it is. The open world systemic thing. You kind of have to try and think in terms of what are all the possible things that can happen and how can what I'm making react to those possibilities. With AI, it's the cornerstone of what makes the game interesting. It's the thing that makes the, the world alive. We really wanted to push the AI for the NPC characters in Assassin's Creed Unity. One of the things that we really wanted to do is have the characters aware of their surroundings and aware of the people around them. The player then feels really immersed in, say, Paris because there's all these things that the characters around them are doing. It takes a lot of creativity and innovation and that makes it a constant challenge.